Okay, I want to say welcome again everybody, welcome to another video here, okay, now, in this video, um, I'm feeling pretty good, okay, so I'm thinking, uh, I'm going to show you a few basic exercises you can do, it's a basic workout, I'm basically going to explain to you the workout that I do every day, uh, just the basic main exercises, and this is what you can do at home, if you've got some space, and you're careful, and you've got enough space, you can do some basic exercising and stretching every day to keep yourself fit and healthy. I do this for my martial arts. I do the stretching uh, for my martial arts, obviously, to keep me in good shape. And I also do it, um, you know, because for my whole life, and that's the whole point of it, is to keep me healthy in general and fit. Um, <clears throat> now, recently I've been uh, recovering from the flu, uh, but, you know, put some shoes on. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just going to show you these moves really quickly here. First of all, you can uh, rotate your shoulders like this, rotating your shoulders. I'm going to show you this really quickly, okay? You rotate your shoulders. You can also move them in and out like this. Rotate your waist as well. And notice how my feet are about, you know, shoulder width apart too, and like waist width apart. You just, just spread a little flat on the floor for these exercises. I can do this motion here, it may look funny to some, but it feels good. Just, just go front and back, and then left and right, you know, okay, put your hands on your hips if you wish to, or just by the side there. You can rotate left and right. You can take much more time on this, okay, do not rush with these exercises. Take it slowly, especially if you're not very flexible, you may end up hurting yourself. Just rotate a, a number of times left and right. The same with all the rotations, like I just did with my shoulders too, same thing. You want to make sure you do a, the same on either side. So rotations, either back and forward, left and right, do both sides, you know. Same with your wrists too, okay, rotating your wrists in the other way. You can uh, uh, put, pull your palms back like this very carefully, just gently holding them back for a few seconds like that, or like this as well. You may not be able to go so far like I can, but just basic stuff, you know. Exercise your fingers, opening and closing too, to get a grasp. Oh yeah. Um, for, your, for your neck as well, just stand here and just do your neck like leaning left and right carefully. Front and back, as well, up and, up and down. And then you can do like full circles, but they sometimes say it's not a good idea. But you can do like half circles and stuff like that. But just, just do it carefully, just be really careful with your neck. You rotate and just rotate. You can also look left and right over your shoulder. Try not to move your waist, just turn, just look over your shoulder. Yeah. Um, my, my, um, my thing is I do this every day and I spend around, around half an hour doing the workout. But I'm just showing you these things really basically and quickly here, okay, in this video. I'm just doing a few of each just to show you, okay, in this video, that's the reason. I'm doing it this quickly in this video. But you can take more time on this. Now, your waist as well, you can have your feet facing the front. <clears throat> you can put your hands up in a guard if you wish to, like a boxing kind of guard like this, just your hands like this to my fists, and just turn them back. That's what I like to do, twist your upper body, your torso, to face the other direction. Now, don't worry if your toes are not facing the front totally. If you need to turn them a little bit, I've found this okay, this, as long as you're getting a good twist on your upper body mainly, twisting, you want to try, so what I mean is like, for these, most of these exercises, the feet are facing the front, right, and the toes are pointing towards the front. Now, <clears throat> what I find is, for me, when I do this, it's okay sometimes, but sometimes I want to turn my feet out a little bit, but it's okay, but you want to make sure you get a good twist, so twist your upper body mainly, once they're in a position that feels comfortable, your feet, keep them in that position, then just twist. I'm holding my fists here strong to give me a, myself some focus. Don't lean, just twist. You keep your legs straight, you're doing it. And now go the other way. Twist a few times there, or just twist and hold it. And then go back, you can do it again and again. Uh, other ones you can do, obviously, uh, you can do like knees up to chest, or just knees up as high as you can. Keep your hands in a guard like this. Like you find in like a basic boxing, for example, when you're doing punches and stuff. And you can do this for coordination too. You can throw basic punches out towards the head here, turning or towards the body. When you make a fist, remember to have your thumb on the outside here, 
not on the inside, okay? So you close your fingers, try to keep it flat as possible when you make a fist, put your thumb across the, the first one and a half knuckles there to here, okay? And you, when you punch out, you come from here, you twist, and you just punch and keep it straight uh, like that. Um, <clears throat> And keep this straight too. Don't have the angle like that on a funny angle because you hurt your wrist. Make sure it's solid. You don't be like this or this. Make sure it's straight as you punch. And you can bring that back to the guard there position. One to the head. Wow. One to the body. If you want to do that, you can do that too and mix that in with this, this move I'm showing you here. So keep being back like this. Okay, feet facing the front of that shoulder width. Just raising those knees up. Okay. Do a few of those. You can do this to music if you wish to. Do the whole workout to music if you wish to. You can, you can have open hands too if you wish to have open hands. And you can even practice palm striking, like striking with the hands too. You can alternate it however you wish to. However you feel comfortable using whichever hand to focus. Try and get your back straight, but not locked. So like just naturally straight and do that. Lifting the knees like this is good exercise for your hips. And when you're kicking, usually when you do a kick, your all the power will come from your you you know the speed and everything will come from you raising this knee, raising this thigh, with the speed from your hip, and it will launch, and then you will second part will, will be the kick. You kick out, okay? Okay, so you'll do certain kicks and things. So it's like really fast over time. But there's many different ways you can kick and strike and that. We're not talking about martial art techniques in this video, really. We're just talking about the exercise routine you do every day. Um, and when you do kick, though, don't forget also that you're going to have a better base by that. Like, when you do kick, you'd bend your other leg a bit for some stability. But this is just a basic exercise, so I'm just, just standing straight and normal, both legs. I'm just raising them up, up to chest, knees up. You can also go out. You can also go out on the um, circular on an angle there. Like you can circle them out. Please excuse me. Like coming up and then out. Like that. You can do that too. Keep your hands here. You know, that's another one you can do. Now another exercise you can do is bringing your being careful for some balance. Stand careful. You may feel like you want to hold something when you do it. Something stable something stable, but um, I don't have to, but you stand here, you need balance, but you take the, your foot and you hold it behind you like this, okay, and you hold it, pull it back, and hold it for a few seconds, and then the other one, remember, you take much more time on these exercises, okay, I'm just showing you quickly in this video, I've done my full workout for today, and I, I do it every day, as I say, you may also want to like swing your legs back, like do a few swing backs and stuff. You find just swinging them back like that, being very careful. It's up to you for that one, okay? But that's very important to get that good stretch there for that thigh one I just showed you. Now, um, what else do we have? We have um, breathing, of course, like standing here, raising your hands and breathing in certain ways. Sometimes they'll say breathe in. Uh, through the nose and then out through the mouth like you're blowing a flute and imagine you're getting this energy slowly all around you soft and then going down so you're raising up above you and then pushing this energy down you're very relaxed this is a flow of energy and it's good for the blood circulation they say the chi and the breath too and the energy either way it just feels good it's a calm down type thing you know you can also do different things like up and then bringing the hands in like this and then maybe bringing the hands back or making certain maybe making circles there's different ways you can do it or up here and then here and then Breathe out with that. So when you're doing the pushing motions, you're kind of breathing out. You breathe in like this. And then breathe out like that. You can even sink your weight when you're doing that into stances and stuff like that. As you're bending your knees, you can do things like that too. <clears throat> but we're not going to go into too many here. I'm just reminding you that breathing is also very important, of course. Another exercise which is very good, another exercise which I'll show you is jumping jacks, okay? There's a thing called star jumps, but there's a thing called jumping jacks. Sometimes these two get a bit confused by some people. 
Jumping jacks is basically when you're here, you put your feet together and your hands by your side. Down on the floor and you'll jump out like this and you'll raise your hands up high. Just up like that. You can clap if you wish to, I don't need to do that. Just put your hands up high and then come back. Jump back. So you jump one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six. And you just do the jumping jacks, okay? It's good for the breathing. Sometimes I'll do different variations where I'll have like my hands on my hips and I'll do like crossing like this, crossing one, like one, crossing this way and then this way and do that crisscross, how do you call them crisscrosses? If you want to do it a different way you can also have your hands in the guard and mix it up with punching for coordination or have your hands crossed like this as you go, your legs and hands crossed and then when you go out, palm to either side. You don't need to use too much force to strike out but you just do this and keep your body straight. Other ones you can do is keeping your hands in a front start, in a fighting guard, and you just go like that. So one, and you might throw a punch, and then back, and change, punching. You can also just jog on the spot like this, on the, ball, on the balls of your feet, and you can throw all kinds of kind of blocking motions and anything you like while you're doing this. Basically, it's like just keeping the body moving. So you see people doing like basketball exercises, you see people doing skipping rope, boxers do it and stuff like that. Really, it's just like sport, you know, exercise. You see stuff like that in aerobics too. So when they're just bouncing on the toes, basically, people do it when they're dancing and stuff too. You can listen to music and move freely, but it's good to keep the moving, the energy and the movement. By the way, um, don't forget with your feet, we have the flat part of the foot. We have the top part of the foot, the instep, we have the knife edge of the foot part, and when you kick, you don't kick with the toes, because you hurt your toes, you hit with different, some of these different parts I just mentioned, such as the bottom, the sole of the foot, the whole flat part, and for certain exercises or certain ways we're standing, we use the ball, which is this part, the ball of the foot, like I was just doing there, this cross thing I was just doing, I'm on the balls of my feet, sit here. There's a time when we'll use this ball of the foot for certain things. and The same with the heels too, the heel of the foot. And sometimes I'll be standing like that, using my heels and doing different things. Now, um, so you're understanding how to feel your feet. Now, another thing to understand is the ankles. So you can put your hands on your hips all together and just exercise your hands like that, fingers together. Or you can just put your hands on your hips and rotate your knee which is one we could have done earlier on actually. You rotate that knee with your foot on the ball of the foot there, you see? And you, and you go either side, a few circles, you know? Okay. So this is there. Okay. And that's good, do a bit of that. Sometimes you can do different things too, where you might put your foot in front of you like that and make a circle there, you see? You may want to hold your hands in front or do different things, put your hands on your hips like that, like fists. There's many things you can do. You can read a book. <laughs> hold, some, hold something if you wish to, if you need to. Don't forget for balance. Because some of these exercises you need to practice balance over time. If you're standing on one leg, and it still needs focus. But you need to strengthen and, and loosen up and do many things, you know, to loosen up. Also, we're doing the knee, but don't forget we've got the foot also. You know, you need to actually understand you're rotating this joint part for the foot here, okay? So anyone can keep flexible and fit. One thing you can do, but I would advise not putting too much pressure on it and don't hurt yourself, you can push your feet in the various angles, like very gently, like I'm very flexible so I can do it a lot better, but sometimes you may want to just roll a little bit over, see, or just do different, I use the floor so to push, but you don't need to do too much, I don't want you to hurt yourself, take it easy. All your body, your wrists, your neck, your back, you need to take care of your body, so don't go too crazy, but just, you know, working out. It's the same as, like, you may have a door or something like this, and I, I may want to, like, lean in like this, you know, with the door open, and just lean to give myself some, you know, you might want to use something around you to help you, some structure, some apparatus in the park, some bars, some whatever it may be, you know, a tree. People use things for the isometric, isometric training and stuff like that too, you know, so... I'm just going through the basics of what I do here every day, just showing you, okay? Another thing you may want to do, of course, is this, okay? Um, <clears throat> we're going to do some squats, so we're going to put the feet together, 
Uh, there's different ways of doing squats, so I'm going to do it with flat feet first by putting my feet together and then putting my hands or my knees just going up and down. Okay, so <laughs> make sure you're wearing comfortable trousers for this, I <laughs> would advise, okay, and, and gear, okay, so be careful because I'm, I don't usually wear these trousers for this, but you know, just, just stay alert. If you start to feel any pain, if you start to lo lose blood pressure to the brain, you know, <laughs> just kidding. So going up and down, you can do it more slowly if you wish to see one. So give yourself a number and do those. Now another one you might want to do is raise your heels off of the ground now, like this. I just had my feet flat on the floor, but now you can also do it like this with the, on the balls of the feet, okay? On, on the ball part of the feet. And you can also do that by going up and down. You may want to hold something like carefully. Don't put any weight, just work out. This is basically like push-ups for your legs, basically. You know? And you work it yourself, training slowly and fast all have their benefits, you know. You can also, as I say, um, spread the legs a bit wider when you do that too. So you do two different versions, you know. Put your feet in various positions too if you need to. And just try. You can even alternate off one leg, like put your one leg out of it and then do it a different way. There's many different exercises, just look online. You'll see a lot of different exercises that people do for different things, like martial arts, karate, yoga, you know, and you'll see. Breathing is very important. Don't train either like just before food or just after eating. And control your breathing. It's very important to control your breathing. Very, very important. So don't talk when you're doing it. I'm, I'm just talking for this video to show you. And also I'm just doing it kind of basically in this video. I'm not going too over the top. Um, now, there's a thing called, uh, there's two stances in the martial arts called Mabu and Gongbu, which we're going to talk about in a moment, okay? But before I do that, I'll show you something else. With the hands, cross your body, your arms, go across and open up, swinging across and out. This is something you may want to do right near the beginning of the workout. You can do, there's no perfect order, you need to, just need to... Work it gradually and don't hurt yourself and just work out what's good for you. Swinging across and out. You can also push, put your hands to your cross, out here, cross against your body. Open up and then push out. Push palms either side. Another one you can do. Also swinging the hands up and back. I'm going to go on this side for this angle because I have ceiling beams and things here like in the way, okay? So you can swing your hands up and back. I hope you're understanding everything I'm saying in this video. I'm speaking nice and clearly and trying to show you the best I can. Okay, so you can do that. When you do the um, hands out as well, like across, you can have fists, light fists, not clenched, but light fists there. And that's another way, or just open palms. Another way you can do it is by opening your palms out like this, palms facing up. You can alternate which one's on top each time for these exercises, don't forget. Okay, now, so once you feel comfortable, that's, that's good, obviously. You can circle your arms, make big circles forward. You don't need to clap, but just circle your arms forward and back as well. If you've got enough space, being careful, that's a good thing. To do, you, know? you can also interlock the fingers and push out like this, out here, interlock the fingers and push the palms out or down. You can also raise the hands up above here, behind you, and then interlock those fingers behind your head, and then stretch fully up and keep your back straight. And look up if you want to, look up here. Yeah. If you want to spread your feet slightly wider, like I just had, my feet are a bit wider than shoulder width apart now, you can also do that at some time. Just adjust it naturally, but don't get the fidgets, you know, that open up here, see? You can also do other exercises too, like just loosen up and relax for a moment when you need to, take a breather. Then, you know, um, a lot, do a lot of walking if you do a lot of walking. That's good for you sometimes. Though. Don't always be lazy, like if you can get off one bus stop early and walk through a park or something, 
Get it? Don't be lazy. If you can do some exercise, walking is very good for the heart and the breathing. Sometimes fast walking or, or, or maintaining the pace, control your breathing, focus. And it's all training. A lot of things you do in your daily life, you can focus in a certain way. It's part of your training, you know. Learning to focus but relax at the same time. So not to be rigid, but you're flowing, you know. You can do another thing like this, elbows up, okay. Um, like elbows up, like for example here. Okay, elbows up. And then doubles too, like this. Fists here, up, and then out. And here, when I'm doing that, I'm really bringing the shoulder blades in. Okay. So I'm coming straight. I'm going to go straight up. My shoulder blades are here, and I'm going to do this motion here to really bring the shoulder blades in. And go like that. And then loosen all that up, see? Another exercise I like to do is putting my feet about a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, flat on the floor. Bring my hands up like fists I'm over my head here. And just bend my knees and my arc my back, arch my back. And then, and then go straight back up and then do it again. When you do these kind of exercises where whether you're putting power to strengthen your legs by bending your knees or just straight opening and stretching down, things like that. Whenever you've got your legs open, you're stretching and opening as well. So it's more flexibility training. Sometimes you're training a lot of different things like strength, inflexibility and flexibility through the strength exercises too. So look for all that. Understand and learn your body, about your body, you know. The basic thing. If you bear with me for one second, guys. I've got people giving me this. Yeah, um, sorry. Yeah. But basically, um, so when I'm doing this, okay. So that's what I'll be thinking when I'm doing stuff, okay? Sorry, I had a little bit of a distraction there. Let's get back to what I'm saying now. So yeah, um, so these are things you can do, okay? If you go running, obviously you can go running too. If you do, if you do, do any running or jogging. And then it's all good for your health, you know, fitness. Okay, um, another thing you may want to do is just bring the elbows across your body like this, just across. You can do this kind of thing, obviously. You can also do things like this where you just have your hands in like this. And you're exercising loosely, just like lightly exercising your joints and your shoulder blades and your back for your upper back. So we've got the lower back and that. We've stretched up, we've bent down, we've got a lot of different motions. You can go back through them if you wish to. Another one you can do is, as I say, lean back. And be careful when you're doing these, as I say, when you're starting out. We've done our twists left and right for the upper torso. You see, we're working the upper body and the lower body. So we've, we've, we've got to do some more things. We've got to do some leans and a couple of stances, and we're nearly done, okay? Um, look at my feet, okay, as I've said, my, my feet sometimes they're about shoulder width apart, sometimes they're wider like this, slightly wider, okay. So let's just have a look, okay. Um, so for the next one, I'm going to lean back, okay, and I'm going to have my feet slightly wider apart. And I'm going to put my hands on my hips and just push. From the back, it looks like this, here, just above my buttocks. <laughs> You're going to push back there. Don't go too crazy, but just... Be careful. You can put your hands on your back as well if you wish to try in different areas. Just do a little stretch there. I'll put your hands there. Just lean back. Do a bit of that. Okay. Oh, all that stuff going on. We've got some more stretches to do. Um, okay. Uh, now. So, the next one, okay. Excuse me. The next one I'm going to show you is not this one. <laughs> is another one where we're not going to arc the back. This time we're going to keep the back as straight as possible and we're going to put the feet together and our hands by our sides or on our knees here, really. Feet flat on the floor and just stretch down. And we're going to stretch, what we're stretching basically is stretching the hamstrings, which is behind our knees here, this area, and stretching. But try to keep the back as straight as possible as you just go down. Now some people can bring their body all the way down their chest to their knees, touch the floor and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, but the basic thing is just to do this bounce or hold it a bit if you wish to. You can touch the floor if you wish to, do that. But just stretching down, okay, like this. Now you may find sometimes that, you know, you may want to do different things like having the feet 
a little bit apart, like shoulder width again and still going down like this, it's a different stretch you'll find. So I do both. I have the feet together or the feet like this, but they're always flat on the floor. Sometimes you may want to open your legs further, let's say much wider, and just do that. We do a bit, a bit of each every day and give yourself a number. And you can also alternate and bring your, your upper body to either side. Now for the bow stance, okay, bow stance, which is strong boo, usually you have one leg bent and the back leg straight like this. You can do this kind of exercise as well, where you put your, your hands on your knee, you can do it this way. I'm just showing you a basic stretch, okay? Keep this back leg straight and they're in line, okay? And try and turn your body, your shoulders to face the front. Turn to face the other side. You may need to alter, you may need to bring your foot across a little bit so you're like balanced. And maybe you can imagine that there's a line between your two legs, but they're not too far apart. And you've got your, your hips and your shoulders facing the front. And this is flat like a table to make this a strength in the leg. And this knee is straight on the back there. And you turn your foot slightly in, your front foot. Okay, so you can do that too for an exercise. Do a little bit. I don't do that one absolutely every day now because I do a lot of, lot of other, I do a lot of squats and other stuff anyway. But most days I do this next one, which is at Marburg, okay, the horse riding stance. I do this every day. Where usually what you do is you open your feet wider than shoulder width apart. I'll say that, okay? And you try to keep the feet facing the front. Some people do it with the feet pointing out slightly, but I'm going to do it with my feet facing in the front. There's no wrong or right, they're all different kinds of training, okay? The one I just showed you was a, a long, low down, stretched gong the bow stance. You can do a smaller version of this one, what we just did just then with the front leg bend and the back leg straight, but it's not the same kind of workout. Okay? But the, the one I'm going to show you now, this next one is the horse stance, where you basically go down and both of your legs are evenly distributed with the weight. You might not be able to go so low in the beginning, you can do it like this, but if you do a lot more squats like we did earlier on, up and down, that will strengthen your legs, and that's my secret to actually training this. One thing you can do in the beginning is you can bring your, make fists and put your forearms onto your, onto your thighs, and I find if you rest into that position, you can rest nicely. That's a nice one. You can hold that for a few seconds. Try and keep your feet facing the front as possible. Your back is leaning a bit forward, arching. Now, this is not what you want in the stance, but for a warm-up, it's okay to strengthen your legs. So you do this. Again, go down. A few seconds is okay each time, don't worry. Repetition is important. And when you get better, as I say, you can bring that fist, as I say, back onto your hips here. Both fists. Like palm is facing up, but it's like, make fists, tight, flat across there, and keep your back straight, okay? And when you're there, or, or you can have open palms, as I say, like this, or like this, with the thumbs tucked in and the fingers together. But you can have open, just naturally like that, is what I like to do. There's many different ways you can do this, okay? And what I'll do is I'll sink into it, and I'll do different positions. Like I'll come from here, sink down, and then push out. So, so at the camera angle, it's a few seconds, or you can just bring your hands up like this, and put them here. The most important thing is just strengthening your legs for those few seconds. Breathe naturally and don't talk. Focus. Try and hold it. Ten seconds and then go again. If you can do it, however many seconds, just train as much as possible. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Next time you may just do four seconds. You do that, but it doesn't matter. You just go again and again. You know? Do different kinds of motions to make yourself feel comfortable. You might want to do this and my palms up. I might do that first and open up. Just hold it, you know. Put my hands up here, like we did earlier, this breathing thing. Connect with your back, your core, and then sink back straight. And focus. I'm pushing my hands in front here, imagining I'm pushing something here. I hold, putting my palm on so that I'm pushing someone. You can just literally hold something, but you want to rely on the power of your legs. Just put my hands near this thing, even here. Just like this, even, see? 
I'm just focusing on this here, see? And I can just focus my energy on something now. Could be a tree. I can put my hands either side like that. But the more you do this kind of exercise, it's just basically an exercise for your legs. You don't have to hold the perfect position for eight hours. No. You just literally do a bit of that gradually. I don't do this every day like I used to, but I try to do it as much as possible in a week. About six to eight times holding for as many seconds as possible as I can. It might just be eight seconds, ten seconds, but slowly counted, you know. But I do a lot of squats beforehand like this. I do more squatting in the day as well. You know, more of this strengthens the legs. Uh, other exercises you can do are things like this, like tapping your knees as you bring them up to get some force. You know, even your elbows in, like holding your hands here. Just stepping back from this position into a fighting position like here. Both knees bend slightly if you want to. And you can do an elbow strike into that hand on the palm part here. Being careful not to hurt your thumbs, obviously. Or just standing here, shoulder width apart, see? One, two, three. One, two on the centre. One, two, three, four. See, and back. Punching. You want to do that? Blocking either side, covering. Parry, blocking. So if someone's going to punch my face, I block. Either side, I'm going to punch my body, I block down, let's say here. And I can emphasise that with these, or alternating. This kind of thing, see, palm strikes. So these are the basic martial arts, some things you can actually do too. Or in a fighting stance, let's say stepping back. Whenever you're in a fighting stance, whether your body's facing the front or on the side, make sure whether you've got this kind of guard or this, or open hand, or one high, low, one high, make sure that there's a there's a line between your two legs here that there's a bit of a base, so you're not like tightrope walking, you know. But make sure you've got your knees bent to guard against any kicks so they can't kick you in the groin. See? And then you've got your elbows protecting, control your breathing, peripheral vision and focus. Some basic martial art principles just there to chuck in for you guys. Now, um, I'm nearly finished. I'm going to show you a lean, which I should have done earlier on, a lean. I'm going to have my feet about wider than shoulder width apart, and I'm going to lean, okay, to either side. So, hold on. Having the feet flat on the floor, hold on one second, I'm just stretching, one second, hold on back. But you can also lean over, like, so I'll put my hands either side like this, cross, you don't have to do it this way, but I like to circle up and get ready. The main thing is you're going to lean over, but what I like to do is just put my hand over, I don't like to hold here, I like to have my hand going over. You can put your hand by your shoulder if you wish to as you're doing like this. Just lean, or you can do that, or you can hold your hand either way. Many ways you can do it, you know. Or you can put your hand on your on your, your arm on your leg there if you want to. It's up to you, really. But twisting, stretching that whole, uh, leaning to stretch that whole part there. And the other side, you can grab your arm if you wish to. Lean over. Keep your legs straight and your feet flat on the floor. Yeah, come over. And you can imagine this circle, see, it's like you're in a sphere. Yeah, you understand? All the directions, left, right, front, back, up, down, in your immediate sphere and in the wider sphere. The other thing you want to know also is um, you can do this in a small way too. You don't always have to have your legs so far apart. You can have them here. I do both. Just here, see, making a small motion like a ball here. I do this and then open up. And then go this. Do a little bit here, see. And then the other way, see here. And you can turn this way, see, or you can go over, see, but I go like this. Up here, one high, one low, see? And then go over, see, all like that, it might be like this. It comes from my Kung Fu training in my past, but the main thing is you're just leaning over to stretch this side. You see, it's an upper body, we've done arcing, we've done straightening up, we've gone leaning back, leaning to the side, we've done twisting, we've done the waist, everything, the ankles, the wrists, you see how it's all joining in, the power opening up the legs, strengthening, um, all of it. Knees, we're doing a lot of stuff, right? stretching the legs, so say like that. Other ones you can do is have you bend this knee a bit and then just put your foot carefully on the, on the heel. Just go down, don't push at all, be careful. Just go down, stretching the, the hamstrings. You know. You can also stand there and just push out, like, not kick, but just try to stretch the hamstrings. 
lift up high as you wish to, so mid and high or low onto different sides. Just loosen up, just feel that stretch as you're pushing out. It's not a kick, it's just a stretch. <coughs> you know, um, we did our jumping jacks now on the spot moving around, yeah? You can shadow box, you can move anywhere you wish. <laughs> um, what else? If you're more flexible, as I say, you can do splits and stuff. I wouldn't say you'd have to, but you can, like, as you can get more flexible by doing various stretches, even with like individual feet, like you can, this is like poo poo, the flat stance, you can like have one, both feet flat on the floor and stretch either side, like this. So, you know, stretching, look forward, as I say. You can also just stretch like this with a heel up, different kind of exercises. But when you get more flexible, you can do like a split. I can't do a perfect split, but I do this. I'm not on my fists here, but careful, don't force it, you know. You'll find over time you get more and more flexible, as I say. Um, I'll show you a quick, a last stretch that I do, the last one I do. You don't have to do all of these extreme ones I'm showing you here, like splits and all that, but just showing you a thing here. You can do this and then push out for a side kick. Low or mid I like to do, sometimes I do high. Might want to hold something as well. I'll be lifting my knee up. Go kicking straight out from the edge of the foot here. Right edge. Toes pulled back. Kicking out. Raise up. I might have my hands in any position that I've got to be ready, see? Focusing. And kick there. Straight out. So that'll help when you're doing that side kicks and stuff. But it's like for people that are a bit more advanced, I'd say. But you can do higher ones as well, which I'm not doing in this video, but you know, you can do that. Um, you can have like your toes point down as well, pointed down, like, feel the heel part here behind the heel, and then just go up here and just push, just for a stretch to stretch the top of that foot part. It's not a kick. Oh, I wonder if we can do that. You see people doing this like in ballet and dancing and stuff, you know, too. But when it comes to all your kicking and stuff, you can do all your kicks and practice, you can practice holding out roundhouse kicks and stuff in positions slowly and that's great training to train your power because when you do a kick it's just so fast but you want to train slowly every tendon in the, in the body. Um, that's basically what I do every day, I do this every day, basically that's my full workout basically guys. I do this every day, some days I don't do so much stance work like I say, even the marble, I try and do most days this one, and even more throughout the day. You know, I like this, I love doing this. For me, this is like people that love doing push-ups, I love doing my legs, <laughs> but I love doing it all. Sometimes I'm training my punch bag, as I say, you know, and kicking in there. But getting those skills sharp, you know, just getting all the angles and that. For flexibility, it's very, very important, I feel, you know. Try to do different exercises in fighting starters and stuff to check the mechanics of your movement, you know, so you're able to move naturally. Even certain movements when I'm moving my hands and breathing like I say and doing different kind of things. A lot of it comes from my Kung Fu training and my basic like Tai Chi and stuff but at the end of the day you know just do whatever makes you feel comfortable and bring your hands up. Push out two fists if you wish to or from your hips here. Just stretching. Maybe not necessarily a punch but just stretching or the palms I say. Bring it in. So, and you start to feel the connection with your spine and your lungs and everything. You know, ah, down that energy as though there's an energy, a root. So you know, you're not going to fall out, fall down. I lean in. See, I know where my centre is, the top of my head, down to the ground. It's like a, a centre, you know, coin. Feel the energy from my palms and through my fingertips and everything. So I thank you for watching. This is my full workout that I do every day. Keep healthy. If you do a lot of walking, that's good too. And as I say, some days you may not get that much time. You may take half an hour on this like I usually do. In this video, I kind of rushed it. The reason this video is longer is because I was I went through everything and I was talking to you a lot. But usually I don't talk, I breathe, and I get this done even much quicker. Like you can even do this like in 15 minutes, just doing like the basic ones. You know, just basic exercises, you can just loosen up, 
listen to your body, you know, to do a bit of that, loosening up, stretching, keep, you know, as long as you feel good, that's the main thing. But then most days I try to get it all in. I'll do it in half an hour. But sometimes, some days I'll do a bit less and it'll just be like simple, but top to bottom, keep yourself fit, I say. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't take drugs, I'll say that. Don't think about negative stuff all day and just live for money like a robot or a slave to society. Just keep free. This will keep you healthy and fit for your martial arts and for your daily life. And if you want to do other stuff like more strength training, because I sometimes do a bit, I'm trying to work out on different things. You've got to find time for things like weights or other stuff you want to do, running, weights, swimming, down the gym, whatever you like to do as well, you know. Like my bag training I do in that. They all got to find time for that stuff, you know. The martial arts in general, the, the skills. But this will keep you healthy and fit. And I advise every day that everybody does some exercise and keeps healthy and fit. You know, um, just do what you can. So thank you for watching Train Hard and Stay Safe. I hope this video has been very beneficial to people out there. Thanks for watching. Take care. You can do this at home at least, right? I don't care what your build is. You might be unhealthy or really fit, but doing this is really good. Just don't talk too much. Breathe. Breathe. I think I'll make some more videos on that. Some of the breathing aspects. See, I'm doing this kind of motion here. This comes from that traditional Tai Chi when you're doing like, the forms and things like that. So I'm doing that, but I'm not doing that, but I'm saying I'm doing my hands here. Up. Imagining I'm feeling energy between my palms and my fingers up. Raising up and then pushing forward. See, I might go up like that. See, different kind of motions naturally. It might look funny to some people. Different motions here, up to the side, here, and rolling this over, and then here, blocking with my palm, my forearms, and here, this could be like a block and a strike, see, blocking him and striking him. Or here, but it's like a moving soft motion, see, blocking with my wrists. I can grab his arms there so I could just sink down, energy like you see in Tai Chi anyway. It's a basic from like Tai Chi and Karate. And, a lot of different things, so I take it all from the traditional martial art. So, so I'll be doing that kind of motion with my wrist or different kind of things here. The palms, the edges of the palms here like this, or the or the round part. All kinds of stuff you can do. Keep flexible and keep strong. Inner and outer. Thanks for watching. Train hard and stay safe.